Welcome to IG. I'm Hebe Mark Analyst for IG. This week's week ahead, we are looking into the economy calendar starting from October 21st to 27th. Let's dive in. Starting off with Monday, October 21st. In China, we are expecting the one-year and five-year mortgage prime rates. Keep an eye on these as they are crucial for understanding the direction of China's monetary policy. On Wednesday, October 23rd, we will focus on multiple economy updates from the Asian region. Singapore will publish its latest inflation rate data, a key indicator of cost pressure in the city country. Meanwhile, in South Korea, consumer confidence figure will give us insight into how the public is feeling about the economy. Over in Taiwan, we will see the latest retail sales data, which will be a strong gauge of consumer activity in the region. Thursday, October 24th is packed with important updates from multiple regions. In South Korea, Q3 GDP growth rate will be reviewed, providing a comprehensive view of the nation's economy performance and health. And then Australia, Japan, the Eurozone, the UK and the US will all release their respective manufacturing and services PMIs, giving us an overview of the global economy across multiple regions. On Friday, October 25th, Japan will release Tokyo's inflation rate, a key metric to track inflation trends in the capital of Japan. In the US, we'll get the Durable Goods Order Report, an important indicator for business investment and long-term sentiment. Meanwhile, China's PBOC, People's Bank of China, will announce the one-year median lending facility rate, a critical benchmark for understanding monetary conditions in China. Finally, wrapping up the week on Sunday, October 27th, China will report its year-to-day industrial profits, providing a snapshot of the profitability in China's industrial sector. And that's it for this week's economic calendar. Please stay tuned as we continue to monitor and analyze these key events and data throughout the week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.